Now with Toyota uh, outfit on, uh, obviously you had a fantastic season last year uh, in the Ford. What what led to the uh, the change in teams? Looking for uh, the best options to fight mm -hmm. for the title in the future. And uh, this year uh, or the last year, then uh, we were actually quite close, but uh, mm. we still were missing the first victory beginning of the season. So uh, mm. yeah. Our target on that time was more to, to win the first rally and then after we were getting close to the title as well. But, uh, mm. but uh, yeah, let's say by then when the season started to, to end, uh, we were still enough far away. So we didn't really have a good shot. So uh, yeah, I think this year we, we try to play a bit uh, more clever game at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you sort of compare the M Sport facilities now to the um, Toyota, facilities are you comfortable that they've got the engineering to, to back up this car and get it to, to win your championship this year yeah i am i'm sure there is no doubt that uh, <laughs> toyota and dmc have the facilities and people to do it uh, mm -hmm. obviously it's a very big corporation a huge team so uh, yeah also for me it's a big thing to move actually to into a proper manufacturer team so mm -hmm. uh, yeah there are a lot of people working you know and, and just my job now to get used to all these people, you know, to know them a bit better, you know, and uh, to know how they work and, and then uh, obviously then just improve the car and, and uh, yeah, get the development done. But, uh, but I can say already now the car feels quite fast, so uh, just my job to, to get used to it. So w when did you first step into the, um, into the Yaris uh, with Zota? Uh, beginning of December. Yeah. Okay, and uh, testing between now and the Monte, is that coming up? Actually, we just finished the uh, testing yesterday, so uh, yeah, we've done now four days testing for uh, Monte, so uh, it should be quite well prepared. Okay, and you're obviously stepping into this team, you've got Yari Matti uh, as teammate. We've seen that the other teams are really improving their cars as well. It's going to be an incredibly competitive year. How are you going to tackle that? Are you going to tackle every rally and just try and do as best you can, or are you going to try and think season long and try and win for consistency? Uh, I'm sure it will be more or less similar as it was uh, last year, as the... The competition was uh, really high uh, with the new the new regulations and mm -hmm. new cars coming into the championship. So uh, yeah, it's it's been always really tight, and um, I guess it will be more or less same uh, same this year. So just need to stay on the top all the time uh, when possible, mm -hmm. fight for the victories, and, and uh, but yeah, same time just keep scoring points. So uh, yeah, it's it's hard to hard to say anything. You know, just need mm. to see how it goes. So uh, yeah. Rallying is definitely a sport where you can plan anything. You just need to <laughs> go and, and uh, play a clever game. So the, the 2018 season, obviously, like as every WRC season is, is a very long season from the beginning of the year all the way almost to Christmas. Uh, how do you keep up with the pressure of you know constant rallies, constant testing, uh, with all the other engagements that you've got? You know, is it very hard to manage your diet, manage your exercise? I think it's in the end, uh, same job as every other, you know, it's mm -hmm. same as you, you know, interviewing all of us, you know, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't need, need to be fit need, to do this. You need, you, need to keep up, uh, you need to keep up the pressure as well, so it's safe <laughs> for us, you know, we do testing, we do rallying, but we do it every year, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's the job, but, uh, but yeah, for sure, it's, it's exciting in times, you know, you're competing to each other, you know, sometimes it gets close, but, uh, but that's why we are doing it. Though.